Hey, backmates. So, I am playing the test. Uh, I saw Mark play it, Markiplier play it a few days ago. Or was it yesterday? Could have been yesterday. Um, and I wanted to play it. I want to see if my camera is too big. Great. I think that should be good. I think. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't, um, video game capture it. So, I have to full screen capture it. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even, it's, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We really want to admit, we really want to admit our faults grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself? Your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? I love answering questions and asking people questions like deep questions because one helps me to get to know myself more. And I love getting to know myself more. And it helps me get to know them more. And helps them to get themselves more. Or know themselves more. Unless they're not being honest, you know? But I love these types of questions. The process is very simple. I'm gonna check I'm recording. Because I, 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 I am like... Okay, I am recording. No, I didn't mean to do that. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truth in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. It's not always difficult. <laughs> you see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. Really? This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions are asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic, this isn't a personality test, this is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on its circumstances. Create your own circumstance in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you fit, as you see fit. You may not understand or realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water. Okay. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions and provided that you are, are you are willing participants, participants, <laughs> participants. We will be unlocking some substantial, substantial information today. Here we go. <gasps> Would you be alright with living alone forever? I... I would be alright, but I wouldn't... Like it. I've never lived alone. I want to... I'll say no, because... My situation, circumstance, if that's not necessary. 
Would you be okay? Would you be all right? As in like mentally. And mentally, all right, I don't think I would. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't be all right living alone because I wouldn't want to have like someone, either a cat or a pet or someone, another human. Would I be all right? I don't think so, because my mental health wouldn't be good. And if I could survive, but I don't think I would be all right about it. So no. Do I have to press enter? I do. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Okay. I do like blue, and there are a lot of blue things in my room. And I was thinking, so I saw Mark play this already. So there are questions I'm going to answer like the secret questions gonna answer how I watch Mark play I didn't know about any secrets so I know there might be like questions like that and I'm gonna say no because I didn't know there were secrets but with this one I was thinking about it and honestly it's weird because do I like blue more than black I would have said yes but like my gut instance is like no. Like, I really like the sky, and the sky is some usually blue. I like blue, and I, I like that you can't really make a rainbow, or I, I don't like rainbows looking color without blue, or green, or yellow, or red, or purple. I guess I just like the rainbow. <laughs> but I have noticed that black is such a great color to, like, and what's that word like? Do you like? Do you like make the other colors pop out and fuse inside? No. And wow, I'm forgetting this word. I knew this word the other day because I was thinking of this question. And I came to the conclusion that I think I do like the black, the color black more than blue. I mean, I am wearing black i don't typically wear blue i wear a lot of grays or gray black white hues um i i think i do like black more than blue but see that's the thing I, my favorite color is green and i really like teal and mint green and like the colors with blue accents like hues with it so it's not necessary like Aqua is a good color, teal, um, but I don't think I would say I like blue more than black, so no. Oh no, that's weird, because I would have thought I like blue more than black, but it does, it just helps emphasize, that's the word, which isn't how I pronounced it correctly. If you found money on the street and you knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes, of course. Are you sure you want your answers? If you, are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yes, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the right answers, you know? This is just a video game. I'm my own human being, and I know my... Like, can sense... Get, are you afraid of spiders? I am. I'm not afraid of tarantulas. The big spiders, like tarantulas, I like because they're like tiny kittens. And they're like weirdly hairy. And I'm like, oh, no, get a tiny kitten <laughs> with the, so many legs. Um, but I am afraid of spiders. I, uh, I remember I had like a panic attack. I, I wanted to go to the bathroom at the state park. And the bathroom was littered with these spiders. And I just... I freaked out. I, I just couldn't go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I remember my mom talking about it because she has fears of spiders. She knew, like, fear of spider isn't, like, a natural fear. And she's like, when I had you, I didn't want my fear of spiders to go upon, like, be um, transferred. Or... I'm lost with words that I usually use. Like, inherit. But, um, I guess I inherited it anyways. Yes. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? Of course. 
I always, I wouldn't say always, but I have maybe like the last year or so, always wondered, or not always, but have wondered, like, what does holding lava feel like? Like, is it goopy? Like, if unscathed, like, okay, I'm alive. Maybe I come out with like a bit of sore, maybe a sore for a year, maybe not like a lifetime soreness, but maybe like a year I'm okay with too. I would still do that. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't. I mean, I guess there are people who wouldn't, and that's valid. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? I will say I do if you know me. Maybe. I want to say yes, but I don't know if that's even true. <laughs> Maybe I wish that I did. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? No. No. That does not sound fun. This is very interesting. Did you realize the last letters of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? I did not. Um, even when I was watching Mark's playthrough. Does that make you uncomfortable? It doesn't. <laughs> I think it's because I'm... Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? I want to say yes, but I think the answer is no. No. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? I wasn't, honestly. I was trying to figure out if I was good at it or not. Not necessarily, there's more. Um, so no. I guess I don't have the curiosity that I thought I did with these games. Maybe because I've already seen the first playthrough of this. Have you have you been entirely honest with your answers this far? Yes, I think I have. I said with um uncertain tone. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No. Were you aware that you could be potential that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? I did not. But is there? Are you wondering how many how these questions begin to take a strange turn? No, I didn't realize it took a strange turn. I just like answering questions about myself. What about you? Do you like to ask these questions to you? Other people, you're a video game. You don't have a brain. I mean, I guess you have a networking thing, right? Something like that. I'm not educated enough to know these answers of the computer things. I know me. My answer is I'm educated enough. No. Would you consider yourself captive? I think if I played this for the first time without watching Mark play it, I would say yes. And I was captivated, like my attention wise, on these questions. So, yes. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? No. <laughs> but I have done things. I, I, when I do things that are considered brave, it's not necessary, because, like, it's like, I'm always nervous, and I guess you can have nervous and do things, you can always, but I don't think I would consider myself brave. Like, I wouldn't be like, if I went down like a trait, I wouldn't mark down brave for myself. I would do things despite my fear, but I don't know if that constitutes as being brave. Do you view yourself as someone above average intelligence? And yes, but I'm not like saying like of everything. I, I know I, I'm more, I, I have noticed that I'm in certain areas I am more intelligent or smarter 
and others, but only like the areas that I'm like actually obsessed with or like, or like things just I understand more, but that's not necessary. Like makes me smarter than anyone else. It's just, I'm smart in this category. Well, yes, fine. Yes. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? I have not. Are you wondering which hidden messages you have, may have missed? I no. I don't think I have time to think. I or I just have no interest. To honestly, have you begun? Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take, or how many questions exist in this session? No. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? I'm patient with people. With everything else, no. So it's in majority, no. Do most humans annoy you? I think most humans online annoy me, but humans that I've interacted with in real life, like in real life people, don't annoy me. And I'm gonna, this is what like the situation, so I'm gonna, the situation is more in real life humans, not necessarily online, because I guess people can make personas and there's so many people from different perspectives and not everyone's going to act the way that they do online in real life. But then again, it is part of who they are, you know? I don't think so. But there have been people that are annoying to me. But not necessarily, like, I don't want to spread hate to them. I'm not mean to them. I just... Sometimes I just don't like people. And you don't have to do you prefer animals to people and uh, you don't and just sorry, if you do hate uh, I wouldn't say I hate anyone I don't hate anyone um past anyone that I've met in my past or like friends or anyone I don't hate anyone but there have been people that I just don't like but again I'm not sending them hate and I don't it's not like they're doing anything bad. So, like, if you don't like someone, don't torch. I don't know. I, I guess people can live however they want. But I say just don't spread hate. Don't be mean. I mean, call someone out. But, like, also give them time to grow, too. Like, if you keep beating someone down or, like, uh, doing something bad, like, how are they going to grow, you know? Um, do you prefer animals to people? I would have said yes, but now I'm thinking of it. It's like, would I rather live in a world, in a, live in a world where it's just animals or just people? Because I don't think I would able, I don't think like mentally I need people. You know, I, I love people. I love getting to know them. I love sharing moments and enjoying their company. And I, same with animals, but I think I do prefer people more. I, I, I don't think I can live a happy life with just animals. You know? Even though I love animals and I do want to, like, if I ever got a job, I would probably be volunteering at an exotic animal shelter. I, I guess that wouldn't be a job then. But like, <laughs> but like if COVID was gone, I would definitely be volunteering or at a job with animals or exotic animals. So no. And I love Bella, but it's like, do you believe in magic? Yeah, I think I do. It's not necessary. Like. Maybe, like, we can see it. I think I... Yeah, I, I believe in magic. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher... I do. 
believe in gods. I do believe in God. I, the thing that I believe of him, I don't like him. It's kind of like the, the song Hallelujah. If you listen to the lyrics, it's about like, if there is a God, they don't care about us, you know? I, so I do believe in it. I don't know if I actually like, on the daily, I, on the daily I don't think about God. I don't like thinking about him. Um, or I, it's not like I don't like thinking about him, I just, if it is true, you know, I don't know. I think I want to believe in it more than I actually do, to be honest. But I do believe in him. In an existence of some form of power. power. Not saying, like, you should, like, worship it or anything. You shouldn't. Um, yeah. Do you fear death? I used to. Um... I remember at 18, I, I like 18 to 19, I like couldn't sleep at all. Like I would stay up for hours just being scared of death, of like the unknown, of like what's gonna happen next. But like, I guess spirituality took the fear, or like crushed the fear, like learning like past lives. I do believe in past lives. So like knowing the past lives and knowing that you can remember your past life, it's like comforting. But now I fear like one day I might not remember Julian, you know? But I don't think that's gonna happen because I am currently, this is currently present. And if I'm present, then there must be something, right? Something bigger here. Maybe, maybe this is just words to comfort me, but no. If I think about it too much, I might go back into fear state, but I'm not, in general, I'm not. Are you attached to someone who you're currently, not currently in a relationship with? Oh, attracted to. Uh, yes, because I'm single and I do love someone, but I'm not dating them. Did you answer the last one question 100% honestly? Yes. Are you alone? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> if I know you with utmost discerningly that there's something watching you, would you believe me? No, because there's no way, there's no, nothing for me to trust you. Like there's no opportunity you gave me to for me to have any clearance or like have that any vibe or desire to trust you. So no, you're just asking me questions. Have you wondered who I am? No. Well, now I am. Have I? Now I am. But before him, no. So I'm gonna answer this beforehand. Have you had shivers at any point? Is it bad that I haven't? Do you feel like you're being watched? No, but you are watching me. Like, you... Are those glasses? Or are those just like eye sockets of your... Are those, is that a beard? Or is that just like... Crow... Whatever... Feathers, but like... A collar, crow collar, feathers? No. Have you considered quitting this session early? Nope! Do you drink water every day? I do. I need like at least three glasses or three mugs worth of every uh, water every day or my heart starts doing weird things at night. Did you, do you eat at least once a day, every day? Yes. Do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? I uh, did not. Do you realize that you missed just another? No, I did not. No, 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 no. I just said yes. Oh no. Oh no, wait, can I go back? Shoot, I did, I... <sighs> Shoot. Have you wondered what they were? No! I just lied by accident. Would it bother you to never know? Okay. Should I exit out then? Wait, 
No, no, no. Shoot. I'm going to exit out. Because... I just lied, and I didn't want to lie. Oh! I just realized that's her eyes. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but she's wearing like a hat. Truly, destiny. I don't believe in destiny. I'm good at finding hidden puzzles. I'm, I think I said no for that one. Shoot, should I have said yes? I'm good at finding, no, I'm not like actually good at finding puzzles because there's so many other people that are good at finding puzzles. I'm good at finding like video game puzzles, but not like to the extreme. Or even to a good amount. Are you afraid of the consequences? No. Very interesting. Have you wondered? No. Dang it, did I? I don't remember. I don't think I did. <laughs> Shoot. I'm... Okay, in that moment of present, I didn't. So, that's the truth. People's truth can... Become... Can change, okay? Have you had a... Do you realize... No. Do you realize you just... No. Okay. Are you wondering what they were? Not really. <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without finding out? No! Because I like finding things out, like... Some video games. But I, I don't have to be the one finding them out. Is your favorite number is seven? No, it's thirteen. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? No. No? No. Because there must, there's, I, we, I believe we are souls, just like in bodies and meat suits controlling them. So, we, depending on the soul, you could have been here, or not necessarily like on earth, but like as a soul existing more than existing as a human. So no, I don't agree. That's interesting. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I think they can. Not saying that they shouldn't. No, wait, do you agree? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Wait. Wait, how do I exit out? <sighs> Let's start this over again. Options. I'm sorry. I don't mean to actually do this. I... I need to not answer until I know what I'm clicking. Am I good at fighting hidden puzzles? I'm good at it, but I'm not great at it. But hidden? I don't think I would be. I didn't want to edit this video, but now I might. But I don't know, I guess... Well, I guess me being patient. This is really testing my being patient, so I guess this actually helps, I guess. Did you answer that? Yes. No, 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 dang it. Uh, I guess I'm editing this video. Okay, oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Cannot? Do you agree? No. Venus is sometimes referred to as a morning star. Did you know that? I did not. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Yes. I, I think everyone deserves an opportunity to prove themselves that they can change. 
Because if you can't do that, if you can't provide, then what's the point in growing, you know? Like, we all grow. I, 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 yeah, I think everyone deserves a second chance. You can do anything you put your mind to, do you? <laughs> yes. Obedience is more important than freedom, do you agree? No, 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 no. Underwater adventures sound like fun times. It does! I want to pet the sharks. <laughs> I want to pet the fishies and the stingrays. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? Aww. No, I did not. Do you wish to be loved? I have found out something about myself the other week, month. I am loved. I know that. But I don't feel it. It's not or I want to be romantically loved or feel romantic love. I mean, yes, of course, I, I wish to be loved. Do you have any addictions? But I remember my friend made a video. I don't know how much I believe in astrology signs anymore, but um, she made a video about Aquariuses, and that was like a long time ago. She it's deleted now, but in the video she mentions how Aquariuses haven't felt love yet, and that. I'm loved. I know that. Um, ever since I was little, I know. So I don't know what it's like to not be loved. But I don't think I feel it. I know that sounds really sad, but... Like, that's what I desire. I desire romantic love. Because I don't think I've ever felt that. Um... Or experience that, and I want to experience that. Um, I want someone like stay, so it's like understandably. Um, I'll find someone um, that I also love too. Like it, it has to go both ways, not just one way. Um, but also, there was some a quote that I heard. I was watching a tarot card video. Um, do you have any addictions? No, sorry, I don't. I used to be really addicted to hot sauce for like, I used to drink hot sauce like a cup of it every day. No, not every day, but like, no, I, I definitely drank hot sauce every day for like 10 plus years. And then like when I was 20 something, 21, 22, maybe 20, my throat just like gained a lump. And I just, ever since then, I cannot have spicy food. My mouth can handle it, but my throat I'm just kind of scared that one day I'll accidentally eat too much spicy food and not realize it because my mouth can handle it. But then the next day it's going to be like all lumped and I can't breathe. That's what I fear. Um, do you dislike, dislike the color pink? No, I actually do like it. No, no! Oh, crap. <laughs> I did it again! I'm just very talkative person, okay? And when I talk, I don't pay attention. I don't pay attention to my actions when I talk, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'll skip. Okay, I will say... Huh. Okay, I'm, hold on, I'm going to close the door because Bella opened it. And I'm going to check my, um, the, uh, okay. Do I have any addictions? No. Do I? I, I, I will say. Maybe I am. I, I do have it. I, 
I do have a habit of watching tarot card videos that I want to get out of. But is it addiction? Is it addiction? I want to say no because it's not like... I don't know. It's not necessary, like... Like, I know I can stop. It's just there's nothing else to do. So I just watch tarot. Or I used to. No. No, I'm not addicted. Do you just like the color pink? No. Right. No. Does the color gray seem depressing? No. I, I like gray. I wear a lot of gray. Do you enjoy loud music? Like concert-wise? No, because I wear earplugs. That's weird, because I do like music loud, but not like wicked loud. So I think... And like concert wise, no, I, I don't, I bring earplugs. So if I bring earplugs, that, that means I don't like the loud noises. So, no, I don't enjoy it. Do you like to dance? I do, I am not, excuse me, I am not a good dancer, but I do like to dance. Um, yeah, I like dancing, I want ballroom dance. I want like ballroom dance with someone that I like. Or romantically interested. They don't have to be a good dancer. We can just dance horribly together. I want to dance horribly together with someone. Would you consider it some normal? No. Do you love your prayer parents? Yes, I love my parents. Uh, have you ever been lied to? Yes, probably. There isn't like any instance that I. Do I get uh, uh, any instance of it that I can, like, remember precisely? Do you get angry often? I don't. No. Do you hold grudges? No. I, I can be mad at someone and then the next day be cool with <laughs> it. Um. Yeah, like, even if you hurt me, I, I, it's not, like, necessary. Well, I, I, I guess I don't get mad at people. The only time I've ever, like, remember getting mad that lasted is that when Meme, I'm gonna call her out here, bought a fish or two fishes and she wanted this fish bowl and the person at Walmart is like, no, 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 you need to get, like, an oxen, oxen, uh, oxygen, something that you oxygenate the water. And she's like, no, 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 I don't like that look. I'll just have the glass bowl. And then the fish dies, like, in two days. And then the thing that, like, we tried to tell her, we were like, no, the fish needs this. They're going to die. And she's like, no, 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 no. Meme is my grandmother on my dad's side. Um, But that doesn't, that bugged me. That, I, like, st started panicking in the store because we were right there. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't want the fishies to die, you know? And then, the thing that really made me mad is that the next time we saw her, she laughed about it. She's like, oh, those fishies died. It's like, they must be old. And I'm like, and she laughed about it. And, I'm, and that really pissed me off. And um, I guess I might hold, I don't know, they're dead now. So there isn't like anything you can change. <laughs> and I guess it's better. I mean, I believe in reincarnation, so hopefully they reincarnate into something else that they have a happier life or wherever they are. They're happier. Hopefully not back in Memmi's hands. So no, I don't own grudges. I might be bitter at one person, at one grudge, but that's it. Have you ever forgiven me? I asked a lot of people. Have you forgiven someone? Yes. Have you ever lied? Yeah, probably. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I sometimes lie to make jokes funnier. Uh, in the past, do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Yes. And when I say lie, I mean like... I don't exactly. It's like white lies, not necessarily like big lies. Have you ever wanted to be an animal? Yes. I remember when I was little, I used to ask Santa Claus to turn me into a cat. That's what I wanted for Christmas. Yes. Do you believe in psychic powers? I do. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not. I've seen spirit orbs on cameras, but that's not necessarily searing them. So no. Do you dream often? I do. They're, they're usually vivid. Do you have nightmares though? I do. They slow down. It's like the last few dreams I've had are just like cuddling with someone, which is interesting. There, there have been sprinkles of nightmares between the nights. I keep waking up in the morning, like one at seven, one at eight, nine, one at eight, one at ten. Like I kept keep waking up like every hour and a half for some reason oh no I know why Bella keeps meowing <laughs> me Bella keeps meowing in the morning and she wants to be petted but she won't come into my room in the morning for some reason so I can't pat her and I'm too tired to get out so yes do you suffer from anxiety attacks? I do but I haven't and often but I have so yes do you suffer from depression? I have, but no. No, no, that's not like recent. Like school years, I say yes, but now, no. Do you exercise often? Uh, no. I should exercise. I have, there's this POTS video that I used to do every day. It's called like, the, the person that uploaded it is called like POTS Survivor Guide or something like that. And it's like a 30 minute workout, or it's 20 minute workout, and I used to do that every day. Now I just walk back and forth for an hour. Even though that is staying active, I don't can count that, because if I don't do that, I'll probably lose the ability to walk. And in this scenario, I'm saying like, an including of this, like actually exercising, and I don't, so no. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? I've been emotionally wounded, but currently no. I have healed from everything. Like seriously, if you wanna talk to me, or like, I, I, I'm not doing anything in, at the moment in my life, so like I'm free to talk. Um, if you have my email, you can just email me. Like we can ask each other questions if you want. Um, but I'm not emotionally wounded so you can like ask me anything you can uproot anything you want i have healed i have i guess forgiven everyone that, that like hurt me i guess um and if there are things that i am not aware of that i need to hear and, and you uproot something the best way for me to heal is to talk about it like that's sincerely the best way for me to heal or do you like know that's like oh I got triggered. I need to let this emotion hold, emotional hold, go. I need to figure out where that stems from. So, please, if you want to talk to me, ask me questions, deep questions, go for it. If you want to, if you're scared that you, I'll trigger, be triggered, or, or uh, be uprooted something, please do. I want to actually get rid of all that stuff and heal from everything. And sometimes I might just not be aware of it, so that I need to heal it. No, trigger me. <laughs> Email me. Ask me questions. Like, I won't tell you the names of people, um, but I have been in, like, unhealthy friendships and stuff. I can give you advice. It's not going to be the best advice, <laughs> but I can give you advice that may or may not help you. Um, you considered no. Have you ever felt betrayed?
I have. But, like, emotionally I have, but logically I knew there were circumstances that prevented that, or prevented to go further with that in some cases, or circumstances that had to, that played out, that had to go that way. There wasn't, like, any other moves or ways for them to do, you know? I don't know. But yes, I have felt betrayed. But I've healed from it, and I, I don't have any hate towards anyone. Do you ever feel lost in life? I have. Will you consider yourself a natural leader? I do. And circumstances, I definitely become the leader. I think anyone can become a leader, and either just with time or effort, or with the desire to. Um, I guess that's... Or sometimes circumstances can put you into a leadership thing. I wouldn't want to be like <laughs> unequal to the people that I'm leading, if so. If that makes sense. Like I would want to be if you could push a button and destroy the world, would you know? Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? I don't. My dreams are usually, lately, just physical affection. Not necessary. Not necessary sex, but like just cuddling or holding hands. Um, and just hanging out closely or hugging. But never, I, I don't think I've ever dreamt about being a hero or being super because I don't like hero movies um I just never I, I really like characters like the reason why I watch have you ever been bullied yes I've been bullied like three times that's it I think once in um middle school I was washing my hands and like this girl that used to bully my best friend just said ugly and walked away. That hurt. I think I was gonna put it in my book. It's like, that's what it was. I was gonna put it in my book like that, but then be like, why are you calling yourself ugly? Like, be like, have myself betray dumb because I thought that would be funny. But then I realized now I'm grown and like that doesn't sting anymore. I can actually write about the truth of it. You know, um, another time I was in high school and I went to a vocationary school, which is like, like a job. You learn about a specific job every other week, but like this was ninth grade. So you had to do like two classes of each shop. Each a shop is like the job. So shops could be cosmetology or environmental or horticulture, agriculture. Um, uh, cars, motor, automotive, carpentry. There's like 60 plus or whatever. And like in ninth grade, you do two classes of each shop. And then uh, by the end of like ninth grade, you pick the last semester, you pick um, the shop that you want to do for your rest of your high school years. So you would, for the rest of your high school years, you would be with the same class in the same shop. Which is really cool every other weekend. And then the other week is like academics. Um, and during architecture class, I had a, I was just in class learning about flowers. And this kid, bully, kind of went like, Psst. And I was curious, because what the heck is the pssst noise? So I look over and he's like, I hate you. And then I'm like, okay. Or, I don't know. I don't remember, honestly, which order. It might have actually been, he said, he might have said, I love you. Like, in, like, not a nice tone. And then, I just, like, okay, that was weird. I probably blushed. And then he did it again, like, two seconds later. He's like, psst. And I looked, and he's like, I hate you. And then, his friends just laughed, and he's like, you shouldn't bully her. That's mean. But, shoot, they were laughing. And then, 
He's like, isn't it interesting you can tell someone I love you and they don't believe it, but if you tell them they you hate them, they will? And I'm just like, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> and I'm just feeling hurt, you know? Um, Bella's meowing. Have you ever bullied someone? I probably have hurt someone, but not on purpose. So no, I don't think so. Bella. Like, I haven't, like, actively bullied someone. Um, I have not stood up from someone that was being bullied. And I do wish that I did, but I don't regret. It's not like I don't regret doing it or not doing it. It's just I, knowing my mental state back then, I, there was, I was too shy. Like, there was no possibility for me to stand up, you know? So, no. Um, would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yes. So, back to the bully thing. Um, yes. I, I tend to, um, I used to really like to annoy my best friend. Um, that the friendship became really unhealthy. But I would, like, you know, like, when best friends do, like, Teasing, I would tease her, but I wouldn't know when to stop, and it would hurt her a lot. I really hope she finds better friends than I am. And she's doing good. She's emailed me, like, she emails me, like, every year on my birthday, just updating her life. And she's doing good, and I'm really happy for her. Do you sometimes do it? Yes. Do you find space fascinating? I don't. I think I rather, I do, like I want to, but I just don't. I mean, it's neat, but it's not like, ooh, it's fascinating, let me learn everything. Um, <laughs> you know? So no, but I will go. So the bully thing happened and then he also, on like a field trip of the horticulture, this was only two days, this guy, I only met two days, and um, we went to like, we uh, went on a bus, and he asked me like, what's your, um, not necessarily race, but like, what's your heritage, or what's your, and since, and this, crap, now I can't say it, intensity, no, and that's, Dang it, I couldn't say this. And like, knowing, the, you know, the, the board that doesn't, that starts with the, and, and that's it. Yeah, okay, look, I'm not gonna try to say that, but you ask me that, and I'm like, white? Like, you know, I, I never learned up learn like what to answer those questions because it was just never a thing that I was taught and I still don't know what to answer because they thought it was all funny that I said white I thought that was the correct answer intensity no and then I'm gonna like look it up and like I don't have google on my phone I can't look up anything because I don't have anything on my phone because I don't use it I got rid of my internet on my phone do you find space? No. So he asked me that, and I said that, and then he thought it was funny. And everyone else thought it was funny. Um, and then I was learning how to write um, a horticulture car mobile. And he wasn't doing anything, but he was just staring, and I was really nervous. And I remember getting off of that, and I made a mistake during that. And I remember another student that I had was a classmate in my guitar class for a good he was really nice if I wasn't mentally okay with um back then in high school that I wasn't just mentally able to make friends and I would have got to know him more he, he, he was kind of funny because that person I think it was Mexican I think hopefully he, he was on the bigger side and, and and not hopefully that he's hopefully vaccinated. Hopefully I'm getting it correct. Like, you know? Um, and I remember walking out of 
music class one day, and he's like, hey, I'm going to go smoke. Do you want to come with and talk and stuff? And I'm like, oh, no. Um, and this is the first time I ever had anyone, like, ask me, like, hey, do you want smoke, you know? Because you grow up, and it's like, don't say yes to smoke. And so I thought, like, <laughs> there would be way more people asking you to smoke. But this was only the first time and the only time I've ever been asked if I wanted to smoke. And I'm like, um, no, I have, like, lung problems and a heart problem, that, so I can't really smoke. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't smoke. Smoking is bad for you. And, like, he was sincere, and I'm like, I was really surprised how this person that's smoking, like, like, of course he knows smoking is bad. And he's like, I'm just addicted to it. I can't stop, and, like, my life at the moment isn't in a way that discomforts me like you know and I hope wherever he is he's having a nice time whether if he wants to stop smoking I hope he did I'm not gonna tell him do not you he can't smoke uh would you consider yourself to be an artist yes <laughs> sorry I ran on derailed would you consider yourself a good friend no so, story-wise, back to the bully. When I got off the mobile, he was there. And he's like, don't let this a-hole, which was the bully, um, scare you. Like, he's he's a D-bag. And, like, he's, like, he literally just, like, called him an a-hole. And I'm like, it, it was really comforting. Like, he just said it so casually. And I'm like, oh, someone's standing up for me, actually. And it was really nice. And I hope... He knows that I appreciate it. I don't think I ever said anything. I don't know if I said thank you, but I, I definitely appreciate it in the moment. I wasn't so shy speaking to people. I didn't, I, I, I think a part of me wasn't sure if people would understand me with my voice. So I just, one, didn't know how to say anything. Not say, but I didn't know really how to keep a conversation going. Because I was also very shy back then, and I wasn't sure if people could understand me. Because when I did speak out, people would, like, nod and smile. And, you know, like, that type of vibe. It's like, oh, they don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, cool. And I just kind of, like, nod back. But do I consider myself a good friend? Um. No. I have a reason. I am currently a good I think right now I only have one friend, Sonny, and I think I am a good friend. I am a good friend with her. We I am very I'm a good friend with Eric or I used to be. We're not friends anymore. Nothing bad happened. Just life. We just grew apart. Um, haven't talked to him in like probably a year or a month actually months um so i don't i the, the friendship is gone um but i i am a good friend now like i am a good friend it's just i don't think i consider myself a good friend because <laughs> because i don't miss people i i miss someone I guess the person that I love, but like realizing I don't miss my friends. I like, I miss the, and this, this is going to sound bad. I, I like getting to know someone. I like doing that. I like sharing. I like being vulnerable and all that whatnot. I like getting to know them. I like it, sharing myself with them, uh, with certain people, of course. Um, and if I consider you a friend, that is huge. Or if I want to be friends with someone, that is also huge. Because I don't do that often. Um, but I don't consider myself a good friend because I don't miss my friends. Like, even, like, before Sunny, like, the friends I had, I, I don't miss them. I miss... I, the thing that I thought I missed was them, but in actuality just miss 
talking to people. I miss just talking to other people. And it doesn't necessarily have to be them, my friends. Which is sad that I only miss one person. And but the thing is, I don't honestly care if they miss me if I like stop talking to them or anything. Like I and this is gonna sound bad, but like Eric has was used to be my friend for like five years. And I, I don't miss him. Like, I don't, I, I don't, I rarely think about him, like, you know? Like, I hope he's doing good. Like, maybe, like, once or twice during, like, the months that we haven't talked, I thought about him. I just don't miss friends. I don't miss, and I think beforehand, like, I used to thought I miss my best friend that was unhealthy. But I think I just honestly miss the talking of some to talking to someone. Um I don't know what that says about me. So no, I don't think so. I will say I am also very needy. Or not necessarily needy. It's just I do like to talk a lot to people and get to know a lot of them. Um so I'm like hot constantly. <laughs> Um, so, if you're okay with not being friends with me or just getting to know me, like, being acquaintances, email me. I, I probably won't miss you, unless you're, like, that one specific person. And it is, was an eye-opener to realize that, and again, I don't know what that says. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Do you believe in perfection? No, I think perfection is just some word that people use to, I don't even know why. I don't believe perfection exists. I'm trying to make sure like that's how you answer. Have you ever stolen from someone? I think I stole a pencil from someone or a few, not on purpose. Okay, I will say this. Yes, I have stolen someone. I have stolen. Okay, I borrowed, which is an excuse that I use when I was little, um, this stuffed animal from my cousin, and I never gave it back to him. I, I, I have, like, once I was, like, teenager, adult, I have asked him, I'm like, hey, do you want this stuffed animal back? And he's like, no, you can keep. I'm like, okay, thank you. I still have it. It's downstairs. His name is Cookies and Cream. He's a rabbit. He has, he's white with black spots. And I have stolen the DVD of Spirit Away from my library. Not on purpose. I just never gave it back. And I still haven't given it back. Um, would you ever kill someone on any circumstance? Any circumstance? Yeah. Yeah. If it's protect to someone that I love? Yeah. Specific people. Yeah. I would. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Yes, I would. Because I would be like, hey, look, I know this is big, I know this is blunt, but I have one day to live if that ever comes and or no but like I know that's like putting a huge burden on them and I'm like hey look I know that's a lot you need to process it after the day but look I that, well let's just do whatever because I, I I've heard stories of people like being like um I didn't realize that was the last day that I would see them alive, like, you know, would hang out with them or stuff. And that day is now tainted and sad. I would never want that day to be tainted and sad or those memories. So if you're just up front, I know maybe some people rather not know, but i rather have my people know. 
I don't know if that's selfish. That might be selfish. But at least they'll be aware of it and be like, okay, let's figure out what we want to do together, you know? And then instead of like, why are you acting so strange, you know? I don't think I would be acting normal if I knew, if that makes sense. Would you tell anyone? Yes. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? I don't know if I have darkest secrets. I don't know if I have secrets, honestly. I have things that, like, I might not have told everyone, but that's just because no one asks. You know, no one asks me about things. If they ask, I would tell them. I don't know my darkest secrets. So I'm assuming no, because if I don't know what the secret is, then how am I supposed to know if I told someone? Do you trust me even though- No, I don't trust you! Do you know who I am? No! Who are you? If I appear behind you right now, when you scream? No, I don't scream when I get scared. I just kinda either jump or just look at you. Um. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would you that scare you? No. <laughs> it honestly won't. It'd be like, oh look. Friend. <laughs> no, not friend. I don't know if I want to be friends with you. If you actually like a thing, I don't Let's get to know each other first. This is all one sided, you know? No. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yeah. Yes, I, I, I do. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't like fancy dancing romance, but like the cute, fluffy, vulnerable stuff I like. And I really appreciate I've never been in a situation where I can show a romantic side, and I think for most of my life, I never accepted that side of me for various reasons. Um, so yes, I, I do consider myself romantic. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Like actual physical fight? No. My dad and I sometimes do like wah wah. We, we won't, like, actually punch each other. We do, like, do wah, like, block each other. But it's not, like, full of force, you know? Are you prone to headaches or migraines? I get oculus migraines, so yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? It really depends on the situation. Um, if it's, like, outside and stuff, I usually look at the trees. But if I'm wearing shoes, like, closed shoes, I look at the ground because I'm just not used to wearing shoes. <laughs> I'm used to wearing sandals. And I know sandals are shoes, but, like, closed shoes I'm not used to. Even, like, when I go to the bathroom, I have to take off my closed shoes, which are, like, boots. Uh, because I can't pee when I have things on my feet. So, like, when I have sandals, I can just slip them off. But when I'm, like, going to the bathroom out in public, I have to take off my boots because I can't pee with them on. Or it takes me a long time. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's really funny. My mom thinks it's funny, too. But, it's, yeah, my legs are falling asleep. So, I have. Ah, my legs are asleep. Oh no, they're like really asleep. Do you look at the ground when you walk? No. I mean, I do, but I don't, in that scenario, I don't. Most of the time, I don't. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Have you ever shaved your head? No. I never had a desire. Well, I... Not 
Not an actual desire. I really, I have like, oh, shaved head one side. Like maybe like once when I was like really little. But now I don't have a desire to shave my head. So have you ever shaved your head? No. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? I'm not attracted to bodybuilders. I'm not like attracted to like overly muscled bodies. I'm not unattracted to muscle bodies, but muscular. And if this is talking about, I guess I'm going with Mark's scenario. If this is like bodybuilders, then no. Like I know I like muscle, girl or boy or woman, man. Um, <laughs> whatever. I do like muscle on either gender. Um, but I don't. I wouldn't be unattracted if you don't have muscle. You know. I like. I I don't think I would have said. I I have. I, I guess muscular bodies with muscle. Okay, my scenario is just if you have a little bit of muscle, this is muscular bodies. Okay? Yes. Do you dance? Oh, yeah, I, I dance a lot. Yes, even without music. Do you trust your best friend entirely? I don't currently have a best friend, but if I do have best friends, Shoot. I want to have a best friend that I can trust entirely. And I will have one. I, I feel like whoever I date next will tend to be my best friend. And I will. Probably. I mean, I shouldn't say I will because I don't know who they are, you know? Or maybe I know who they are. I don't know who that person is. But yes, I, I, w I think I would. If you, if I can't trust you, then I, I, you can't be my best friend now, you know? Entirely, you know? Do you remember your childhood extremely well? I think I tell people I don't. I mean, I didn't have a bad childhood, <laughs> but I do remember it. Like, if I actually sat down and tried to remember, I can remember it very well. So, yes. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No, that's too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes, I have. I ran to add a killer too. Um, different dreams. But yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? I have. But that's like when I was little. Do you ever dream about being naked? No, I've never had a dream where I'm naked in public. Um, maybe because I just like being naked. <laughs> so, no. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? I don't, but not because it's scary, because those characters are usually stupid, and I can't... I, I like media stories where I, I either want to be the character's friend, or I can connect with a character, or just be... Like, um, interested in the character. Like, uh, uh, and if I am not, I, I, th I, you can have like the most scariest, amazing plot or most theatrical, compelling world or mystery. But if you don't have like interesting characters, I'm not gonna spend time with it. Not saying that. It's not a bad thing. You don't need to have interesting characters. There are people that don't care about characters, and those, the, I'm just not your audience. 
So no. <laughs> do you enjoy comedic television? Yeah, I, I do like comedy. If it's good comedy. By that, I mean comedy that I like. Not necessarily... Do you like being the center of attention? I do. Not when I get teased. I don't like teasing. I know like a lot of people like in romantic relationship tease each other, but I've noticed that when I get teased, it hurts. <laughs> so I don't like being center attention. Uh, it hurts. But like if it's if I'm not romantically attracted to someone and they just tease me, I can just like bounce off it, you know, like like okay, that stings, but it doesn't penetrate any more deep but like when it's someone that I actually really like or romantically or something like that it hurts more <laughs> I mean I, again I've healed from all the um, teasing and whatnot or like someone like I want to be friends with that also hurts more or like I thought we're friends that tease me but then again in their defense I tease a lot of people in my past I don't like teasing people anymore. You feel like something is always watching you. Always no. Yes. But not in a bad sense. Like I feel like spirits watching. But always? Yeah, but not like in a bad sense. It's like there's spy on you. It's more like they're cheerleaders and they're here if you need help, you know? It's kind of comforting to me. Because I don't like being alone just because I don't know what's going to happen, you know? Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to go to space? I have wondered. Um, it's not a desire. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? I have once i was sleeping and i dreamt of me watching this video that i haven't watched i, I fell asleep to your game grumps episode and during that dreaming i like 3d projected watching me sleep and watching the video play out of course i could definitely hear it while i was sleeping but i could also watch it and then when i woke up i remembered the video and it's like I've seen this video in my dream it was really weird <laughs> that's only have ever have been once have you ever punched a nun no but now I want to <laughs> do you like dogs better than cats no I like cats more because I don't get me wrong dogs are amazing and great and I appreciate and love dogs but um I like building the bond with cats more, like it's more satisfying and rewarding when a cat likes you and you build that bond and like friendship towards a cat, then like dogs are just all unlimited love, unconditional love. And you need that. Some people need that. And I think that's great that those beings are. And hopefully they don't get like mistreated, like because they definitely need love in return. And they deserve love in return. Like, cats deserve love in return, too. But, like, dogs are great. But cats are better, in my opinion. I love cats more. Um, oh! Uh, no. I, I thought it, the question was, do you think cats, or dogs are better than cats? But then it says, do you like dogs better than cats? So I like cats better than dogs. I'm a kitty cat person. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? This is really surprising because I thought I would rather watch movies. But I think I would now. I'd rather read. Even though I can't, I can't, um, great, my legs are falling asleep again. I can't imagine anything visibly in my head all i see is darkness and i can't visually imagine anything so reading is hard but i do like reading mangas and i do like reading books that have pictures in it like the wizard of oz is good this has like pictures i don't 
you know? Um, but I also do like reading. I, I find that I do like reading more. You prefer to read more than you prefer. But I don't do it as often as watching movies. Even though I don't watch movies a lot either, because they're not, they don't have interesting characters that I can't, you know? It's the, the, the last movie that I watched that really surprised me. That I, because, like, new watch, like, that I was new was Killing Poe. Killing Poe was really, I genuinely really liked Killing Poe. I, I, I wasn't, yeah, I, 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 I also didn't know what Killing Poe was about. I just watched it because uh, Osric was in it, but I really, really liked it. I really liked all the actors. I really liked all the characters, the acting I really liked. Um, I don't know if you would consider it the best acting. Um, I don't know. I just really liked it. I like, like, some of the dialogue I still, like, think of. Like, um, this is a spoiler alert, but when Joe gets high, or her trips, I guess, I don't know if that's the same thing, but there's a like scene they're all like at a meeting sort of I don't want to spoil it so I'm kind of going over and he's like okay I have a plan psst, 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 psst. and then um Mia I don't remember his name no no <laughs> but him he's like I don't you're just you're just whispering I like that and for some reason oh I don't know what I clicked but that's okay I'm not Are you still wondering why I ask you if you ever punch a nun? No. I don't know what the question was, and I'm not repeating this all over again. Shoot, should I? Hold on, I'm gonna pause this. Um, yeah, so I liked him. And I'm not saying, like, the acting is bad, because I like the acting. I don't know what people consider good acting, actually. Um, I, I honestly don't know what acting, good acting is considered. I don't know how to tell good acting. If I like the person, and I like the character, and I like how they act, they're a good actor to me. And I say these characters, these actors are good actors in this film. Do you, okay, so I did answer that correctly. I do prefer reading over movies. How uh, do you get starstruck easily? I... I will say this. I... get starstruck more than I thought I would. I remember meeting... I remember the first time I got a photo op with Gil, and I got really shaky, and I don't think I, I thought I would get shaky with Gil. Um, and I also... <laughs> when I met Drea... For the first time, I could not speak like I could not speak. And we walked up like the stairs um, together. And I was like, my hands were shaking and I, I, I couldn't speak. And then she started asking me, she kept being like, hey, hi, I'm Dre. She was so nice. She was so nice uh, to me. And I was just like, so starstruck. Uh, which is funny because I didn't expect it that. It was like, I didn't expect my me to react like that with her um so i think i would say yes but only with specific people and it's only specific people that like i like not necessarily romantically i like because i don't romantically like both of those people but i do like them as a person i mean i don't know them personally at all but how they are known i guess if that makes sense but yeah, I got really nervous and then she started asking me questions and like slowly I was able to reply. But like, I was completely surprised by my reaction. So yes. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Alone? Yes. <laughs> but if it's like with people that I know that we can like go find a corner or like with ourselves, or, and like hang out with ourselves, and no. I don't know, I've never been to a big party. I guess Mammy, uh, used to do like holiday parties, and like have people that, like families and family friends, and I wouldn't know any of people, except for like, 
Mammy, grand, Mammy and grand, me are my grandparents on my mom's side. Um, the reason why <clears throat> my grandmother is called Mammy is because Josh couldn't say grandma or Grammy. So he started calling him, calling her Mammy. And then Josh is my cousin, my oldest cousin on my mom's side. Well, that's not true. Tar is my oldest cousin. <laughs> but when Josh was born, he said Mammy. And then everyone after him said, called Mammy, Mammy. And Grumpy is called Grumpy. And my grandfather is called Gra Grumpy because <laughs> my mom and her Auntie Nay, Maeve and Josh's mom, mom's sister, like, I guess Grumpy was Grumpy when they were little. And they're like, when we grow up and have kids, we're going to have our kids call you Grumpy. He's not grumpy anymore, but I think that's really funny. But I don't hate going to park big parties because Maeve is there and like some people I know there and it's nice to see them. Um, it is awkward and I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No, I actually, I think one time Jordan Hantrich is like, here, I didn't got your present, but I can give you like, money and you can buy yourself a present. I'm like, no, 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 you don't have to give me anything. And he's like, you're, re you're refusing a present. Stop that. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's kind of mean. But he didn't mean it like in a mean way, but he's like, let me just do something good for you. And uh, so that was nice. Thank you. <laughs> that was like, oh yeah, but yeah, I, I don't mind not receiving any presents. I just like hanging out with people. So no. No? Is your favorite part of your... No. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to... Seriously, though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam! Right in the face. Nun punch. This sounds like a line from Hero. Casey's he's like, I'm gonna hit him or throw up on him. I'm gonna punch him with a fish. Casey, use fish punch. It's very effective. I'm gonna accidentally kill him. Okay, stop overthinking. No, I haven't. I don't remember the exact line, but I should practice that. Did you laugh? Yes, I did. Did you say what the F in your head or even out loud? No, I don't say that. I do say F word in my head, but not a lot. I don't say it out loud a lot. If I ever do say the F word, it's under my breath. <laughs> and it's usually when I discover or realize something. And it's like, ah. But even did you say in your head hello? Here we, no. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity? Yes. Yes, but consensually, of course. And it has to be a real. <laughs> yes. Is there a hell? Do you think you're going to it? No. There's no hell. There's no heaven. I don't believe in either or. I believe those two. Is there no? I believe in those two that are um, just experiences you can have on earth um do you enjoy fantasy fictional games yes do you masturbate frequently yes <laughs> are you wondering what constitutes frequently well i didn't beforehand so i know but now i am and that's it i'm gonna answer the questions before so no but now i guess i don't talk about this with anyone so what is frequently mean Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, I'm good with talking about anything. Is your mouth dry? No, I, I have water. Oh, I drank my water. I don't have water. <laughs> no, it's not dry. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No, not anymore. It used to a long time ago. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? I don't. Are you poor with money? Money management. I'm not. I I tend to have to be able to like push myself to use my money because I don't use my money. Um, but then again, I'm also saving up to make a movie. So, yay. Are you poor with money management? No. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? I do. I do enjoy. Do you speak more than one language? 
No, I was learning another language, but I kind of stopped. Um, I should go back. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? A country? Is Canada counts as a country? I'm not good at geography. I visited Montreal. Montreal? We're on the same continent, right? And that's a country. That's a different country. Yes? Yes. <laughs> do you enjoy coffee? I do enjoy coffee. I haven't had it in like two years. Do you believe in demons? I do. Do you believe in angels? I do. Angels are kind of like you, your cheerleaders. This is how I see angels and demons. Angels are like your cheerleaders. Demons are your... And demons are cheerleaders on the opposite team. Um, is that how I see it? Are you afraid of sharks? No, I want to pet them. Do you prefer baths over showers? Yes, I've never taken, taken a actual shower before. I've, the only instant that I've taken a shower is that I was in middle school and I was at camp. And my best friend um, at the time, that turned unhealthy. The friendship turned unhealthy. Uh, we were in line. We were all in bathing suits. We were supposed to turn on the shower. And then it was, we were at a pool, a public pool. So we were supposed to shower for a bit. But we all got in line, shower, turned it on. And then you could, like, walk away, short shower. And then not walk away with the showers. You turn it on, you get showered. And then the person next, and then you turn it off. And then the person next to you in line. And does the same thing, but I never taken a shower before. Uh, the person in front of me. Was the person in front of me? My friend? I don't think so. It was someone else. And they turned it off, and I got there. And I didn't know how to turn on the shower. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I, I, I just stood there, and the camp counselor started yelling at me, like, hey, you need to shower. Like, you're wasting time. And in defense, in their camp counselor defense, who doesn't know how to shower, you know? I was a middle schooler. You should know how to shower. But I just didn't. And But luckily, my best friend came to help and, like, turned it on for, like, two seconds, splashed me in the face, and then I walked away. So, yes, I prefer bath surface showers. Um, I don't think I would enjoy showers. Do you smell? Do, do you smell? Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you a headache? Yes. I don't like perfume. I don't wear perfume. I don't like the smell of perfume. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few seconds? A few moments ago, no. Because it didn't exist. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? My name? No, but I have heard things that, like, I've heard a train. And, and it's not necessarily just me. Like, my mom and my Maeve has heard it. Like, throughout the years. Uh, do you? No. Um, and there's no trains around us. Like, even, like, in, like, 20 miles, there's no trains. Or not 20 miles, but, like, in a mile that, like, you can hear a train sound. There's no trains! And we hear train sounds, and it's really weird. Um, we just call it the ghost train, honestly. We just gotta... We also hear, like, clutter and, like, things falling down in our house or outside. And it's like, nothing's falling down. Our house is haunted. I honestly believe our house is haunted. Do you think that your home often go missing then reappear later? No. I do like to hide money in my house and then I find it later, but they don't go missing. I, like, intentionally hide it so I can find it later and be like, oh, yay, I have money now. So no. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? No. I hear my, like, house creak and pipes, but not footsteps. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes, yes. Knock? No? Whatever. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? I do. I, I got into, like, this, like, but I know it's not, like, a sign. It's just me realizing, like, 
I, I, I was playing Stardew Valley, and for some reason, 7.20 caught my eye, and then, like, the next time it was 7.20, it's like, oh, I see it again. And then, now, for some reason, if I see it twice, that's a pattern in my head. Um, even though patterns aren't necessarily twice, but that's how my brain works. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what 7.20 means. I should look that up. I haven't seen 7.20 in a while. I stopped playing Stardew and I stopped seeing it, so maybe it's a Stardew thing. Do you ever look at the same? So yes, I have often. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed? No, no, I have not. That sounds horrible. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a kitty. Is your favorite color green? I yes, it is. Ah, uh, my favorite color green. My color is my favorite color is green because it reminds me of nature and trees and grass and sunflower stalks. And I really like nature. So yes. Are you I, I will say my favorite shade of green is mint green. Um just cause it looks nice. Are you attracted to a family member? Currently? No. I have when I was younger. I have had crushes on my cousins. I don't like I two of them I've had crushes on. But I don't have a crush on them anymore. And I have been like, oh, one of my aunts are, is attractive. But I don't, I'm not attracted to them anymore. You know, like it's like when you're small, when you're younger. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if that's a concerning thing. I mean, my mom knew. My mom and the other person knew. Um, but I think once I like got out of elementary school, it's like the crush fades. Are you attracted to a family member? Currently, no. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yeah, I would, like, pay off my family's debt. <laughs> if you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? Yeah. <laughs> I would. Maybe I'd be better. Maybe not. I don't know. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? I have wondered what it'd be like in prison. Do you like fishing? I do like fishing, but the actual act of fishing, I d don't like anymore because I, I kind of traumatized myself once because I accidentally killed a fish and that like traumatized me. Like, and now I don't like fishing, but I like fishing. I know it hurts to fish. But like, if you ask me if I like fishing, I would be like, yeah, I like fishing. Not saying I would ever fish again. But I do like fishing. Do you like hunting? No. Do you like camping? I don't think I've ever camped before, but I don't think I would like camping. I would definitely like to try it. Do you like guns? No. Are you getting tired of answering questions? No. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Yes, I would. Um, yes, there's a person in the bathroom. Uh, are the eyes the windows of to the soul? Do you agree? I think the soul lives in the heart, right? I mean, I guess it's, I don't know. I do like looking at eyes. Uh, I do like, I don't think I agree because I think the soul lives in the, or like in and out of the heart. But there is some magic when you look at someone's eyes and they look back. I like that feeling. Um, going back to the kinky question, I do think I am, because this is going to be too much information. Um, and 18 plus, so. Um, I think I do like, I, I mean, I've never done anything. I'm a virgin. But like, when I masturbate, I can only, I, I only orgasm once, like one second. I, I don't try to do it more than one second because then my 
with my medical history being ever that my body just doesn't like it if I do more than one second it like shuts down and I just don't have the energy and my heart does weird things if I do it too long so I, I, I just do it one second now to orgasm so I think the kinky stuff is more satisfying than orgasming if that makes sense because I can do it longer and actually enjoy it than like one second of it, you know? Do you? But are the eyes the window to the soul? But people don't look at eyes and be like, oh, look, I see your soul. <laughs> so, no. Do you always keep your promises? I probably always. I I don't know. I, 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 now. I don't make promises because there, you really don't know what the future holds and you don't know how you're going to, what situations you're going to be in, what moods you're going to be in, what other factors. And I wouldn't want to put that promise on people, you know? Would you ever completely trust someone who lied to you? Yeah. Yeah, I would. They, I, they, I mean build up, you know, they would have to put an effort into it, and like, make sure, like, hey, let's rebuild this trust again, I I'm not gonna, like, instantly, like, oh, I'm sorry, can you trust me now, like, no, <laughs> show effort, you know, but I do, it goes back to the same, like, can people change, yes, so, yes, I, I would completely trust someone who's lied to me, and sometimes, like, People lie for reasons that, like, they don't even mean, you know? It's like, sometimes they're just in obstacles. No, I, I'm not. I have a brother and a sister, both older. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? No, I don't drink. I've never drink. Do you like tattoos? I do like tattoos. I like tattoos on other people. Um, I have considered getting a tattoo once or twice, I guess, but... There was a tattoo associated with one person, and things happen, and I don't ever want to be in that situation again, and I wouldn't want to get a tattoo unless it's associated with someone, you know? But since I've experienced that situation, I probably will never have a tattoo. Uh, do you like tattoos? Yes, I do, but on other people. Do you enjoy being high in any form? No. Uh, I, I'm gonna look at this as, like, drug-related or, like, substance-related. Do you believe you have soul? I do. Do you cry? Did you cry this week? I don't think I did. I know. Are you upset with someone right now? No, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm trying to, like... I don't want to, like, repeat doing this all over, so I'm, like, trying to answer it correctly. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Daily? I mean, I am very honest. There are things that I just don't say because no one asks me or if there isn't any opportunity to bring it up. But that's not being dishonest. That's just not... There's a difference between... Being honest and just not, you know, being honest, miscommunication, and just not communicating, you know? But no, I th there isn't anyone, someone you're not, is there someone you're not being completely honest with? No. Uh, do you understand how this works yet? Life? No. I don't know anything, and it's kind of nice. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them, the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables. You never guess. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. That's why when I redid this question, I tried to match the amount of time that I answered it the first time. If that makes sense. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? No. 
If I were to tell you that the entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers you, Link. This is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? No, I do believe that there are some creation of arts that are specific, are inspired, or are created because of specific people, but I don't think this game specifically is me, for me. Uh, of course not. I don't know these people. I mean, I guess I don't know these people, so I don't know if I know them. <laughs> but no, I would not believe that. Would you believe that? No, I would not. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Look, I... No one has stayed. I guess Sunny has stayed. So thank you, Sunny. I appreciate that friendship. Our friendship. Not staying, it's going. Anyway, but I've... Had... Friendship, acquaintances come and go. I'm... A-okay now. With... People are coming and going. I, I have realized that if, if I'm going to have a best friend, I'm going to want them to stay. I need someone to stay. Um, I do remember getting this year um, this email from my unhealthy friend because she updates me every birthday of mine. And um, she updated it. And I... The first time I saw that email this year, I, I forgot about it, of course, because it's been a year. And I, um, my heart sank because eggshell feeling, but like, and then it quickly went away. And I, once I clicked, once I like got over it a bit, maybe like a minute or so. And then as I reading it, I, I, I started to remember like the good parts of this friendship. And I'm like, oh, we can actually talk. We're, we're, I mean, I'm not saying I ever want to be your friend again. Sorry, but um, talking might be good. Um, and I replied to them. It was like in the morning, like 5 a.m., 4 a.m., or whatever. So I'm like, okay, maybe the next day I'll like get an email from them. Next day, pass, no email. Next day, pass, no email. And I, I realize I don't want someone to come in my life now on that I want to be friends with. Or not be bad. Maybe I shouldn't put my email out then. If you... I don't know. I, I, there's a part of me that knows... Like, if you're a stranger on the internet, I'm not going to be attached to you, you know? So that's okay. Unless I know you in real life. Or, like, past... That's okay. I, I, I do want to talk to people. And I think that desire is more than... I don't know. Maybe I should just... Well, if you have my email, you, you can decide. Um, <laughs> but it is interesting because, like, I wanted her to say, I wanted her to reply, but it didn't happen. And I'm, I just got reminded, like, hey, I lose all my friends eventually, and that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not like hurt about it. I am sad, but it's not like I'm wounded. It's more like, right, this happens. It's more like, like. It's like, you know, like, you just kind of, like, nod. Like, okay. You just kind of accept it. Um, and it's interesting, because I did add someone that... Uh, am I going to say whose name it is? Someone I love that I did ask on a date once. Like, I've only asked only one person on a date once. Or not once. It's just, how am I... Why am I fumbling with my words? <laughs> so... They wrote me something like, like, find someone, or like, you'll find someone that won't fly away. And I was confused, because back then I was, like, okay with people coming in and out of my life. But I think he knew I needed someone to stay, and I, I really appreciate that now, more than I did before. I'm not saying, like, I never, I, I, I hated that. No, I, I actually thought it was really cute back then, too. But now I just more appreciate it. Are you afraid of being being a no? Because I'm just used to it. I am surprised that Sunny has been my friend for this long. I will say this. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, because real. I I believe in reincarnation, and I'll find the people that I'm. I mean, I found them again in this lifetime, so 
not, that means I can find them again in another. Are you afraid? No. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? I have thought about this. Like, if I get known, will I get murdered? Um, I don't worry about it. But I have thought about it, so no, I don't worry about it. I might if I do. Eventually might. Are you always on guard waiting to fend it? Attack. No, I'm very vulnerable. <laughs> Do you feel like I know you yet? No, because you don't know the things that has affected me and helped me grow, and that's really important to me. So no. For someone to know if they want to get to know me, you know, like what affects my emotions, what I've been through and all that stuff. Have you ever heard any strange noises while answering these questions. I don't think I have. No. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. This is recording, right? Yes. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told, this is why I can conclude. Yee! I'm nervous, but I'm excited. People would do real well to start taking you a bit more seriously and listening to you a lot more often. Your intelligence is really underrated, even by your own standards. This, not this, but the taking seriously I have encountered I always um I don't know if I would say this I mean share this it is true but I know I always wrote and I always wanted to make movies but no one took me seriously until someone that's an actor said like yeah I'll read your script and everyone since then is like whoa you actually want to make movies and I'm like I've been telling you this since I was in elementary school um I'm like, I'm so, it's weird how like, nothing changed except for some person took me seriously once, you know? And now everyone does. Everyone else was like, oh, so you write scripts, are you gonna make it on YouTube? And I'm like, no, I wanna make it into like an actual movie. Like, oh, so you're gonna do it in the backyard? And I'm like, no, I don't wanna make it in my backyard, I wanna make it to an actual movie. And no one took me stairs until like that one person did. So, um, uh, thank you. Not saying, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say his name, but, um, this is gonna edit. it. Um, but things happen, and I don't think he's gonna actually read my script anymore. Or maybe he will. I don't know what the future holds. Your intelligence is incredible. Underrated, even by your own standards. If a zombie apocalypse, apocalypse were to ever occur, you'd be everyone's best friend. Because their relationship with you wouldn't be an option. It would simply be a necessity to survive. I don't know if how that true is, but okay. You have so much to offer this to this world and those around you, but you absolutely must make your talents and knowledge repeatedly available. People are too afraid to ask you for your opinions often times. Yeah, people don't. <laughs> Even when you they do, they're afraid of your truth. That might be true. Don't be afraid of my truth. I'm just sharing mine. I want to know your truth. You're not like others. You're special. Not everyone is going to cut it in this life, and that's an unfortunate fact. But you, now you on the other hand, are going to thrive no matter what happens. You've got what it takes to take any project next to the level. Next level, whether it's working on your own or as a part of a team. I do wonder what Mark got. Because I remember reading Marx, and I'm like, that's really sweet, but that can be anyone. And I guess this can be anyone, too, but it is different when you're reading it. Like, you feel different from, like, reading it, like, as, like, if this is yours. Because I guess this can be, like, anyone's. But, like, it does feel... I do feel something. And, like, I do want to be listened to. Or being taken seriously, you know? And I have. I'm not saying like everyone has it. Um, you're underrated, you're underappreciated, and you're often misunderstood. 
It's not fair, but life isn't fair, and it never will be. Life will always be what you make it, and you've got some insane amount of potential. Ultimately, it's still up to you what you do with it. Oh, one thing I will say, however, is that you need to snap out of the false reality that you tend to live in sometimes. The world you've managed to escape into in your head, well, much better than the world around you, is not going to get you anywhere. In life. That is true. Like daydreaming, I like daydreaming. But like, sometimes you need to be able to daydream and like escape reality. But it is like everything there, I guess, like too much of it can be a bad thing, you know? Or too much of it in an unhealthy way can be a bad thing. If that makes sense. Actions are what make things happen. Actions will take you to the next level. Just not just sitting in your head all day long. Let this be the swift kick in the ass. But, wow, I, I almost said that word. I've never sworn, actually. I mean, like, in a video. Um, or sworn like reading something out loud. You need... Have I sworn? Maybe I have sworn. Maybe. I don't know. You need to be productive and, just, and take things to the next level. Don't waste any more time just kicking. Just kick ass. Your secret word is order. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Okay. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. I can be a part of history in a different way, but thank you for this opportunity. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be a part of the an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your com of your comments, and we'll be not, and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all the comments that you leave, and we'll always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know these, I know they've been is, of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust on me. Trust me on that. Uh, that's cute. That was really cute. Um, yeah. I don't really have anything else to say. But that was cute. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll link this in the description. It's only $2 on Steam. Um, I definitely say it's worth playing if you're interested in it. Um, I do know my mom wants to play this, so I might. I don't know if she wants to film it. Um, but yeah, is there anything else I want to bring up? This probably is, but I don't remember. But yeah, that was really sweet. So yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day. And I hope you get to know yourself more. You know? Get to know yourself more. Don't feel guilty. If you can't, at the moment, like, of course, the, the world is whatever. Um, I hope you're safe. I hope you get safe. Um, I, I guess heal. No one's going to heal for you. So take a look at your triggers. See where it's coming from. If it's too much, don't do it, obviously. There are definitely things that we can't heal. Um, sometimes time is associated. It's kind of like um, if you have a wound and you're just like, it's sort of healing, but you like thrash it open and it's, now you're bleeding. Like that's useless. So just be aware of what, if it's scarred over, it's not gonna like bleed, you know? It's just, it's already, it's already time to like look back. Um, I don't know guilt is coming up for me. So if you feel guilty because you did something in the past, or like you did things in the past, let that go. 
you didn't have the mindset you have today, okay? And even if you did go back in the mindset and maybe you could have done differently, you didn't. Stop worrying about the past. Um, be worrying about others, how others would react to you now. I mean, like, take what you have learned from the past. Be like, okay, this is what happened and this is what I did. I don't want to do that again or maybe maybe it's a good thing you did it. I don't know. I don't know your past. But, I mean, I guess if you feel guilty about something, I don't know why guilt comes up. Um, yeah. If you need to talk about it, maybe, email me. I'm not going to leave my email in the description, but there are videos with my email. And if you have an email, just send me hi. Vent. I don't care. Just, and I know I said I want people to stay with me, but I'm not going to be like... That that's different, you know? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I do value... I don't know. I, I Do whatever you want. I hope you learn more about yourself in any way. Um, one thing that I like doing is looking up questions. Like, questions to ask your loved one. Or like, you're a person that you get to know deep questions and just answering them in your head and see like how you answer. You don't need to answer it like to another person unless you want to like make, ask me questions, go for it. Um, but yeah, just be honest with vulnerable. It's weird. I think I value vulnerability more than anything in a friendship. But then again, I do value loyalty and, like, people staying. But then again, I don't miss people. So I was like, I, I don't know, I guess it just, I don't know, I'm going in circles. Loyalty and vulnerability are, the, like, the best, the, the, the two most valuable things in a friendship or a relationship of mine uh, that I value. And honesty. Honesty is also good. But I think you can't. Be vulnerable without honesty, you know? So yeah, don't be guilty because of your past actions. Learn from them, you know them. Tell you act now. Take action, maybe. Or maybe don't take action. If you're still guilty about something, heal from that. I don't know. I'm also a person that likes to take action. There's always another emotion on the other side of an action. Or maybe don't take action. I don't know. Maybe your action is to not to take action. Maybe you need to learn how to, how to like, have people come towards you. You know, that's what I'm learning, I guess. <laughs> Let people come towards me. I don't know. I hope you're having a lovely day. And with that, remember, Pac-Mates, be you, be true, and be free. Oh! <gasps>